If you're looking for a gaming PC that costs $100, I'm gonna be building one today and you can kind of use it as a rough blueprint as to what you can expect to see out of a $100 gaming PC. Before I go into this, I do not recommend building a $100 PC. I obviously recommend trying to spend a little bit more money so that you can get more customization and more performance out of your computer. But if you are stuck with a low budget, this is going to be a great option for you at the $100 range. Before we go any further, if you guys like PC building videos and you guys enjoy PC building content, make sure you leave a subscribe down below so that I can continue making these videos for you guys and delivering the best experience possible. We are so close to being monetized and it would be so cool if we could actually make money off of this channel so that I could do bigger and better budget builds, you know, invest in other recording equipment, stuff like that to make this the best experience possible for you guys, the viewer. All right, so as you know, having a $100 budget is going to be very hard to build a custom gaming computer. There is a way that you can do it if you get free parts or if you get good deals on something like Facebook Marketplace. But for this build, we ended up going with a pre-built Office PC desktop. And if you are not new to the PC building space, you know that around $150 to $200 builds, they're usually built within a Office desktop where you just end up throwing a couple of components in there and going ahead with the build. So today we threw a very interesting gpu into an office desktop i was about to say gaming pc but without the gpu this is nowhere near a gaming pc so for the specs of the dell office desktop we do have an i3 8100 which is a four core four threaded cpu it is getting very old at this point multi-threading is somewhat of a meta and not having those extra threads are definitely going to hurt in some games performance. Next up, we have one stick of DDR4 RAM, which is a 16 gigabyte, which the capacity is good. We love that it's 16 gigabytes, but the fact that there's only one stick is going to be problematic and is going to be less helpful in terms of FPS in game. And then on top of that, it did come with a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is an M.2, which I was super excited to see because most of these computers do not come with an M.2. They usually come with either a hard drive or a SATA SSD, which is a lot slower. And then that's all that the Dell Optiplex really had. Obviously there's a motherboard, obviously there's other things like a power supply, but that doesn't really matter. What really matters next is the GPU. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I spent $48 with taxes and shipping on the desktop. I ended up finding one off of eBay, bidding on it and getting it for a really good deal. Now, obviously not everybody is gonna be able to find one for this price, but you should be able to find a desktop somewhere, either a marketplace or eBay for around $50 USD. So for the actual GPU itself, we went with something that most people might not have heard of. It is the RX 6300, which is basically the OEM little brother of the RX 6400. This one is a very interesting GPU in the fact that it only has two gigabytes of GDDR6 video memory, which is not bad at all. Obviously, I mean, the, the capacity is bad. Don't get me wrong, but GDDR6 is really good, really fast memory, but the memory bus speed on this is ancient. I think it's 64 gigabytes per second. It is you know, most GPUs nowadays are 192 gigabytes per second at least. Like people complain about new RTX cars coming out at 192 gigabytes. Yeah, this is like one third of that. So clearly that is going to be problematic in terms of gaming, but for a really cheap build like this, it should have comparable performance to the RX 6400 in a lot of titles. All we had to do next was combine these components and bam, we had a fully functioning gaming PC. All right, now we're gonna head over to the desktop and we're gonna be trying this in a couple of games. We're gonna be playing the brand new Splitgate 2, Minecraft, of course, and Valorant, which is a very popular esports title on the PC platform. All right, guys, we've got Fortnite. I I've already tried filming this once and then I realized I wasn't recording. We're gonna be running at performance mode settings. We got the 1080p, epic view distance, and epic textures. Probably shouldn't affect FPS that much. Let's see what kind of FPS we can get with this $100 gaming pc so here we are dropping in getting a cool ah, 50 to 70 fps on average which on performance mode is not ideal oh, dude. Dude, to let's go i want to fight dude people you're not allowed to complain about the system if you win a fight is the limiting factor it's got another kill 
playing some bots right now. I will. Oh, just got bro. Dude, find the parts. Take the Megas price. Oh my god, bro. What? Like. Said it was a scope. Come on, come on. Dude, this guy's one kill away from the lead. Yeah. Well, good game. Dude, the performance is really good. Again, I was expecting it to be really good. Valorant's super easy to run, but that's a win for the $100 gaming PC. That's not bad at all. We are in Minecraft. I'm currently playing on Bedrock Edition. I know it's Bug Rock, like people don't really want to play it, but for some reason, Java, Java, sorry, did not want to launch on this computer. We know that Minecraft is super easy to run and this computer is running it pretty easily. I think right now the the game is just set to whatever your monitor is. But as of right now, it's locked at 85. So let's turn up the settings. Let's do what's recommended. Okay, 23 chunks is recommended. We have fancy graphics. So clearly turning that up did make a difference in terms of playability. And look, as we reach new chunks and actually render new things, the performance is going to drop. As long as we're getting like a smooth 60 plus FPS, that's all that really matters. Like for a hundred bucks, I still think that this is pretty extraordinary. I we're playing a game called Splitgate 2, currently running about 30 FPS. <laughs> this is horrible. It's so bad. I knew this would be somewhat of a stretch. I didn't realize it was an Unreal Engine 5 game in kind of makes a big difference. Kill the guy? Yeah, this PC was very interesting and very fun to build. I love building the like budget computers because it's crazy to see how only, you know, $50 and above, how much better it gets. Just a little bit of money added can make can go a huge distance. I mean, this is three to four times more FPS than the $50 gaming PC that we had. Make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.